welcome to our, our mail out this week. Uh, and the surface anatomy, I thought I'd talk more about kind of the deep tissue work. Uh, interesting, this week I had a student who was talking about, she's just done her sports massage exam with us and was talking about having the skills to work deep, with deep tissue and what kind of routines or techniques might she need. And of course, the answer to that is that as a, a working sports therapist, that's actually what you do. You're working with deep tissue. Um, so the mailing this week has tried to unpack some of that and um, really welcome your feedback on, on some ideas and thoughts on that. Um, uh, we tried to sort of just explain maybe the differences and, um, but yeah, see what you think and come back to us. I wanted to run a little video by Gil Headley today to explain fascia. And it's a phrase that comes in. Uh, this is a clip halfway through his video and we'll give you the link to the video uh, at the end of on the mailing so you can have a look at it. But I want to run it just for 10 seconds and, and get your view. Yeah, first, uh, seems to be coming apart almost. It has a tremendous integrity. So, I can pull it as hard as I can, it doesn't break. So he's pulling here the fascia between our skin and our muscle. And you can see, and the words he uses, it has a huge integrity. So it can stretch it, you can pull it. Uh, this is like wearing a onesie all over your body. Um, between the superficial near the surface and the thin layer of fascia that, fascia that runs right next to and onto the muscle. And here he's just dissecting and se separating those two layers, which I think is a really interesting way of beginning to understand the relationship between fascia, superficial, deep fascia, and then muscle. And when it comes to our work, I think regardless of whether or not you're a holistic therapist or a sports therapist, our work is working with both. And it's learning those techniques and learning the language so that we can empower our knowledge onto our clients to talk about this with fluency and, uh, and accuracy. Have a read, have a look, and then let us know what you think. Thanks.